So today we're going to be looking at the 2013 Total Soldier Recoil version 3. Now, again, I know we're looking at the Core Elite right now, but this version was released in 2013 as part of the Total Soldier line and still continues on on the Core Elite and even on to the next version of the Core. Recoil here, he was actually released in the previous generation of the Core and he first started off with black hair and then blonde hair and he even had a little soul patch at first but today we're going to be looking at this guy so let's take a look at the 2015 sorry 2013 total soldier recoil version 3 this is the 2013 core total soldier recoil version 3 now just like rucker this version of recoil came out during the total soldier line and he has continued going on into the core elite. Recoil is actually an old character that comes from the previous generation of the core and that is uh, when a bunch of characters from the vintage line were re-sculpted and brought back out with the softer plastic. But Recoil was a new character and his first appearance was actually in 2003 and in 2003 he actually had black hair. This is what Recoil used to look like in 2005 when he was given blonde hair. I do like that they kept the dual guns on him. The 2005 version of Recoil was put into an old group of the core which was brought back in 2007 called the Orcas which stands for the Oceanic Recon and Covert Assault Squad. That team came with this guy that looks like Nosferatu and just in case a character that came out in the vintage line. There's not very much to say on recoil here except for yes he is a pre-posed figure but I do like his sculpt a lot. So let's take a look at recoil's accessories and he has two of them and recoil has these two small guns. They just look like standard semi-automatic pistols and maybe like a flashlight on the bottom there. Now let's look at Recoil's articulation. He has a swivel at the neck so he can look from side to side and his arms move all the way around. And that's about it. Let's look at the features that come with Recoil. Recoil has blonde hair, silver shades, and it looks like he might have a bulletproof vest on. There's his collar right there, shoulder pad, strap that comes down with a pouch, another strap goes all the way up, grenade, another strap that comes down, two more pouches, maybe for some more ammo, extra clips, pouch goes all the way around to the back where he has a holster. He does have a peg in his back so we can add a backpack or some kind of a pegged weapon. I think I already mentioned the shoulder pad there. We come down his arms. He has two elbow pads that are really small and he wears gloves. Going down to his belt, he has a belt buckle and he has a tiny itty bitty little clip or pouch right there. It's really hard to see. But he has more pouches there and this looks kind of like maybe for uh, for scaling down mountains or something, I don't know, you could put some rope going through that that ring. Come back around, he has a long pouch, so maybe there's like first aid there. And then another one of those uh, clips right there, and another pouch. That clip is actually connected this time, and we come down, he has a couple of pockets on his butt, and he has a holster with a gun on it. Straps come, keep going all the way around his leg. On his other leg, he has another holster with another gun. So that would make it four guns so far and a holster in the back. Uh, more pouches for ammo clips. And straps that go all the way around his leg. Going down his leg, he has two knee pads. Coming back around, he has the straps for the knee pads and his uniform pants are actually bloused. His shoelaces, you can see the detail on that and he does have strap on the boots. 
has some detail on the boots and this body was made in 2013. Now we're going to take a look at Recoil's bio and we can read all the bios for the Core Elite at thecoreelitehq.com. Code name is Recoil, real name is Max Burner, he is part of the Covert Command, Specialized Steve Covert Unit. His primary skills are Sharpshooter, Parkour, and Acrobatics. Recoil grew up in Los Angeles, California and made his mark at a young age as a gold medal winning Olympic gymnast. He joined the Marines, breaking every marksman record with a pistol and small arms munitions the branch had. His gymnast training made him an unstoppable force in urban combat, emphasizing parkour skills to evade enemies and eliminate them with deadly accuracy. Armed to the teeth, his weapon of choice are two modified automatic 45 pistols that never leave his side. The Corps quickly noticed his skills and recruited him for his agility and ability to help fight against the cybernetic enhanced curse enemies. He is one team member the Corps needs to keep up against the assuring battles to come. Recoil is a pretty cool character, even though there's not much to his backstory. I think everybody will agree with me when I say that it was a huge mistake by making him into a pre-posed figure. The dual gun thing is pretty cool and I think that it's awesome that they kept that going throughout his different incarnations. I hope you like this review of Recoil version 3 and stay tuned as next time we take a look at one of the first two females of the core, Puma.